Okay, now you may ask, well, does it actually make a difference? Does it make a difference whether I get 12% per year compounded annually? That means I get it once in the year. Is that different from getting 12% per annum compounded biannually? In other words, uh, twice a year? Why isn't it just the same? Okay, or maybe is it different than getting 12% per annum compounded two monthly? Or if, let's put every two months. Every two months. Okay, or maybe 12% per annum compounded monthly. How does it change anything? Why don't my calculations just stay the same? Well, let's go and have a look. Is this actually the same thing happening and just stated differently? Is it the same if I get interest once a year, twice a year, every, or this is six times in a year or 12 times in a year? So let's go and work it out. Let's imagine we have a hundred rand that we are going to invest into these four options and we'll look at the different outcomes. Well, in the first outcome, let's call it A. In our A outcome, we see our future value is still unknown. Our present value is 100 rand. Our interest rate that we're going to earn, we're earning interest once a year and we're earning 12%. So 12 over 100. Okay, and n is the number of times we're going to earn it, and we didn't say, so let's just assume it's in one year. Let's see in one year what is going to happen. So here we see, okay, my future value is going to be 100, 1 plus uh, 12 over 100 will be 0 0,12 to the power of 1, and that, if I can do the quick calculation for you, is 100 and 12 rand. That's what you're going to have at the end of your first year. Is that what we're going to have if I get it biannually twice in a year? Well, let's go work it out. We see our future value again is unknown. Our present value is still 100. It's only our interest is now changing because remember what we said. We're earning interest twice in a year, which means the I am going to use, the interest rate I'm going to use is not the 12% because I'm not earning 12%. I'm earning 6%. 6 plus 6 gives me 12. So I'm earning half of that every time. So I take this and I divide it by the number of times I'm going to earn interest. So I'm getting 6% which is the same as 6 over 12, uh, sorry, 6 over 100. Okay, and how many times am I earning interest this time? Well, we're working with one year, and we want to compare one year periods, so we're going to get it twice in that one year, which means that my future value earning 6% interest, that's 0 0.06 for two times. Okay, and that, let's use our calculator, that will be 100 times 1.06 to the power of 2. That gives us 112,36. We can already see, oh, it's a little bit different. Okay, here we're only earning 12 rand interest and here we earning 12 rand and 36 cents might not be a lot 36 cents but it's only 100 rand invested it's a big difference when that 100 rand becomes a million rand okay so earning it twice in a year seems like we're getting more interest and it makes a little bit of sense because remember my interest is earning interest so let's see will it then be better to get it more or fewer times in the year well, I think you can already um, guess the answer, but let's try it at every two months. Okay, so I have 100 Rand invested. If I get it every two months, how many times do I get it in the year? 
I get it six times a year because if I divide this uh, um, 12 with 2 there's six sets of two months so I'm going to get it six times in the year okay so each time if in total I get 12 percent each time I'll get two percent so I'm going to get two percent which is 2 over 100 and how many times will I get it we already said six times okay so that means that my future value will be equal to a hundred earning two percent interest one plus zero comma zero two for six times and that is going to give me 100 times 1.02 to the power of 6 and here we see we already have to start rounding off that is 112.62 112,62 and this is again more so earning it 6 times in the year will earn me more interest than earning it twice in a year so obviously it seems like we are going to do best at earning it every month so let's see if I go monthly my initial investment is still just a hundred my interest this time I'm earning it 12 times because I'm getting it compounded monthly so if I have 12 percent in a whole year it means I got one percent every month 1 divided by 100 n is now the number of times I'm going to get it remember that's 12 times so I'm sure you're sick of this calculation already but you can see where it's going earning 1% interest for 12 times so let's see what does that give us so taking 100 times 1.01 .01 to the power of 12 gives me 1 1 1 1 2 comma 68 and there we go we really did affirm just our suspicions that we are going to actually earn more when we earn it 12 times in the year even though we're only earning 1% as opposed to 2% okay so our interest rate halved and our number of times we received it doubled but in the end receiving it more times in the year seems to be advantageous okay so we want to actually earn interest more often um, at a certain rate okay so we can make this following conclusion the more times interest is compounded per year okay so instead of having it once you have it twice or three times or four times or 12 times uh, for a certain annual rate okay now you will recall we use the same annual rate every time 12 percent okay for a certain annual rate the more interest will be earned now all I want to say on this is that this annual rate is called the nominal rate that's the nominal rate and uh, or nominal interest rate and we had the same nominal interest rate for every scenario but for the person who wants to earn interest once a year if he wants to get the same interest than the person earning it 12 times in the year he is going to have to earn more a higher nominal rate okay in other words he's going to going to have to earn a, at a different rate and that rate will be called the effective interest rate Okay, so, uh, but we'll talk more about the effective interest rates in the next video where I'll see you.